today I've got a video for you here and this is going to be on my Droid Bionic and I'm going to show you guys how to install Raging Bionic which is by Team Rage. Um, they also have a new website that's out right now which is pretty cool and I will give you guys links to that in the video description down below along with the links to this uh, form to download this ROM. So let me go ahead and just go ahead and go through kind of a review on it and I'll talk about this installing it and everything else like that. Um, this is installed um, on safe strap. Now, what I found is there's a new safe strap out right now that is 3.53, and for some reason I couldn't get it to install with that safe strap. You have to install it with safe strap 3.11, um, but I can update safe strap and it'll still be there, which is just kind of funky. Maybe there's some errors still with the new safe strap that Hashcode is working on. You probably got to get some bugs figured out on it. But let's go ahead and just kind of look through it. This is your home home launcher. Now you do have two choices of home launcher when you install this. I think the other one is yeah Apex launcher, or you can just say stock home launcher, which is actually like I think this would be the considered the Droid Razor HD home la launcher because it's got these uh, settings on the side here when you go all the way to your uh, left. Um, so that's very cool. Let's go ahead and check out what we got up here. Notification. You can pull into settings and go through your standard settings. There are some stuff added right here and it's right here under system. So you have Addaway which is really cool um, and you can download things and it'll block out ads out of the applications. So if you have Angry Birds but you don't have the paid version and it's got a little ad in the bottom or something it'll start blocking that stuff. So that's really cool that that's included. Addaway has been removed from Google Play Store so it's nice that people are putting it in ROMs. You have uh, Cash Clear and what this does is I'm going to say cancel for right now. But what that does is it basically wipes out your cache partition so that your phone can run faster. It'll repopulate cache uh, as it boots and goes through things. Um, CPU sleeper for doing sleeping your CPU and getting better battery life. You do have uh, tweakers. And this is mainly used for overclocking your CPU and volting and things like that. And then if you want those settings to stick, you can go ahead and do some more editing of... Um, I think it's a build prop or something like that you can edit to get those to stick. There'll be information on that in the form, like I said, from Rage Realm. Now, Rage updates. This is really nice. I love that they put this in here. This right here will go ahead and tell you when this thing gets updated, when the ROM gets updated, and then um, you can. It'll, I think it'll download the ROM for you, and then you can just go back and, and flash it, and, and it'll update the ROM. So instead of going through all that process all over again, it's just really simple, and you can check right here really quickly without even going to the website. So that is really slick that they put up. It's just an OTA updater, just like uh, your carrier does. So I like that a lot. That's a real nice feature in there as well. Um, let me just show you what we got here. This is Android version 4.1.2. And like I said, this is the Droid Bionic. And right here you can see it's Raging Bionic version 1.3. Um, so let's go ahead and look at some of the applications. I've not um, installed any of this. This all comes with the ROM. And the ROM is a whole package, one zip. You don't have to zip the ROM in the Google applications. Um, so right here we have Dropbox. That's they added in there. Greenify, um, LMT Launcher, which is Pi Launcher, where you push it off the side and it opens up a Pi. I think I can turn it on really quick. Give it super user permission. Allow. I'm going to turn on. I think, yeah, there it is. So you can turn that on or off and use it at your discretion. Um, see what else we got in here. It should have all the standard stuff that comes with the Bionic normally on Jelly Bean, but then it's just going to have things that are added in, uh, added in, like Super User. Obviously, you're going to have root permission. Did come with Titan backups already installed on it, which is very cool. Um, power toggles. I'll go to that second Pandora's in there. And there you go, that's your standard. So power toggles, this is really nice and you can do a lot of configuring and editing of your power toggles in here. So we're going to go on, okay, and let's just see. So then you've got these toggles up top, you can see them on the notification bar. And then you can go in and configure them and do preferences and do all kinds of goodies in there through this application. Um, it looks like it also tells you your battery life right there in the corner and a notification. Um, if you want that, you also have it over here in the circle. So there you go. That is basically the uh, the ROM. I don't think it has a file browser. I'd show you the file. 
doesn't look like it does. Let's see what we got for widgets here. And you do have the circle widget, which is standard with this launcher. If I can place it. Oh, yeah, it did go there. Well, I'm going to have two then, I guess. Oh, only one. Okay. So anyway, here you go. And you do have the circle widget if you want that, which is really, really cool. I like that a lot for this launcher. It's strictly with this launcher, though. So you will not be able to use circle widget with the Apex launcher if you decide to use that. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much my overview of the ROM, uh, which is really, really sweet. Uh, let me just go ahead and show you this just because I think it's hilarious. We're going to go ahead and do a reboot. And um, I think what I'll do is I'll actually boot into SafeStrap really quickly and show you guys just the new version of it, which is the 3.5.3. 3 um, and show you some of the features of that really quickly. There's not too much change. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go in there. But uh, it just makes the phone boot a little bit faster. Um, just some little things, little tweaks in there that are different from the 3.11 for the Bionic. So as you can see, you do have battery life now on the top. If you're in stock system, we'll activate it. You can see that your install and wipes are kind of righted out. Just like warning, you know, don't do anything yet. So I really like that situation. Um, one of the things that is interesting about this device is that it will, uh, in the new safe strap, which is based on this Torp version 2.6.1.0, will turn off the screen and you'll have to touch your power button and then swipe across and it unlocks it again and it'll bring the screen back up. It's kind of nice when you're flashing something kind of big or take doing an Android backup, it'll save on your battery life um, won't drain it so much. So there you go, there's that, but I'm going to go ahead and reboot in Rage ROM, or Raging ROM, which is under my ROM slot 1. And I just want to show you guys the uh, boot animation really quick, just because I think it's hilarious. When I saw it the first time, I was like, yeah, that is awesome. And you guys all know that I love showing boot animations. So, let's do this really quick here. Yeah, there it is. What up? <laughs> I love it. That was good. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, as always, like I said, read the thread if you want to know exactly how to install it. It's pretty much standard for installing a ROM. Um, but just make sure you're using the 3.11 safe strap. For some reason, it does not work in this one. Um, anyway, that's all. Hope you guys like it. As always, guys, hey, check me out right here at... Uh, rootjunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter over there. I'll put links on the side. Video description's got all that good stuff too. Um, that is it. Thanks for watching.